In this video, we are going to learn how to use conditional formatting in Excel to highlight individual cells or to highlight an entire row whenever a criteria is met. But we are also going to learn how to use formulas and functions within the conditional formatting. So let's take this example right here as the formulas and functions inside the conditional formatting. I have the type and the value the type A and type B. And whenever I input here a new row such as the type A and the value of the type A is greater than the average, but not for all the values, but the values of the type A. So if the value that I input here is greater than the average of the only the type A, this value is going to be automatically highlighted for me. And if I input here the letter B or type B, the criteria is going to be another one. And in this specific example right here, I'm using the AND function and also the AVERAGE IF function. But you can also use any other formulas and functions in Excel within the conditional formatting. But anyway, let's start from the base and build up to the advanced. So let's go. Before we move on and learn how to use formulas functions within the conditional formatting itself, let's start with something easier. That is this first example where I need to use this pinkish value as my criteria to highlight the cells that are greater than or equal to this value. And I can do either a highlight in the cells itself, or I can highlight the entire row where the value is greater than or equal to the pinkish cell. Okay, so we can do both right here. But let's start with highlighting the cells itself. So what we can do is we need to select the range where we want to apply the conditional formatting. And in this example right here, the cells that I want to use are the cells underneath here, the total header. Okay, so all the cells in the total column, like this. And if I go to conditional formatting, Excel has many different options to choose, such as greater than, that is the one that I need. However, as we can notice, greater than is only greater than. It's not greater than and equal to. So let's say in this list, you have a value that is exactly the same as your criteria, that is $50,000. This value is not going to be highlight, just the values that are greater than. But anyway, we can discuss this uh, later. So let's click here in the first option and then greater than. Uh, as we can notice, Excel for some reason already input here a random value, maybe it's the average. But anyway, I don't want to use this value right here. And I actually can either click, hold, select everything, and then manually input the value such as 50,000, or we can click in the cell where we have the value. And whenever you change the value of this cell, the conditional formatting is going to be automatically updated for you using the new value. We can also change the colors, red, yellow, green, and also custom format to select different styles. But let me get yeah, keep up with uh, the light red. I think it's okay. And that's it. And as I said before, it's working. If a value gets updated, such as let's take this 27 and I want to change to uh, 100,000. And then I want to hit enter, one, two, three. As we can notice, the value is going to be immediately highlighted with the, the head wish color for us. But if I change this value to 50, thousand dollars exactly the same as my criteria and I hit enter the value is not going to be automatically highlight and it's because the option that we use it uh, it's only include the values that are greater than the criteria so if you want to also include the values that are equal to the criteria what you can do is you can select everything again and then go to the option equal to and that way you can create two separately conditional formattings to take all the conditions that you have greater than and equal to. However, I'm also going to show how can we do it just at once, okay? Both of those conditions within the same conditional formatting. Conditional formatting again, highlight cells rules, and then equal to. Let's say the value now is going to be, again, the pinkish cell. And yeah, I can even use a different color just to, to see here the value that is equal to the criteria. Okay, yeah. Now, whenever I have a value that is exactly the same as my criteria, it's going to be automatically highlighted for me with that yellow, this yellowish color. But let's say now, let me get rid of this entire condition of formatting, click here in the condition of formatting, and then clear rules, and then clear rules for this entire sheet. Okay. If you want to highlight, it can be either only the cells itself where you have the values, or you want to highlight now the entire row, 
you just need to the only thing that's going to change is the range so as you can notice right here i'm selecting all the rows because i want to highlight all the rows but if you want to only keep up with the cells where you have where you want to check for the criteria select just the range that responding to the cells itself right so this is the only thing that is going to change now let me go again to conditional formatting and this time because i want to create something that excel doesn't have here I can go to new rule or I can go in any option and more rules. And this new pop-up is going to open up for you. And the, the second option, format only cells that contain, is exactly the same option that we used before. And as we can check, I can uh, verify the cell value. And if it's greater than something or the pinkish cell as we did before, or if it's equal to, or if it's uh, between two values or if it's not in between and so forth and also here we have the option that we are, we are looking for that is greater than or equal to so we could use it this option okay instead of separately create uh, two different conditional formattings but anyway because in this case i want to highlight the entire row i don't want to use the cells individually to highlight cells individually and uh, separately but I want to use the row as a whole, okay? So if the value, the total uh, is greater than or equal to the pinkish cell, the entire row is going to be highlighted, okay? And not just uh, the cells specifically. Let's say this cell is going to be highlighted because the value is greater than this one. And also because I have a date, probably this date, the uh, standard format of a date, maybe something very large such, such as 47,000 and uh, so forth is going to be let's say let's pretend it's greater than the, the pink cell it's also going to be highlighted so i don't want to do this i want to only use the total as criteria and highlight the row using this uh, the total as criteria right so we need to use the last option whenever you want to highlight an entire row right so always the last option and here we can create our own customized formula such as equal sign equal sign whenever the cell that we have here the first one okay don't do not select the header because you don't want to use the header to be included in the conditional formatting you don't want to highlight the header so uh skip the header the first row and go to the second one so whenever this cell is greater than or equal to this one it's going to be uh the entire row is going to be highlighted and the same is going to happen to the second to the third to the fourth and so forth for all the rows that we have and to make sure we can apply the same conditional formatting to all the rows and not only for the first one I need to check all the cells and to check all the cells uh, we can clearly see here that I have two dollar signs one before the column one before the number I want to get rid of the second dollar sign because the way I know Excel is going to move down the reference okay to all the rows the second the third the fourth the fifth and so forth and whenever those cells are greater than and equal to the value that I have above right here I want to format with a special uh, color, maybe yellow and uh, the font. I want to use a red and bold and also, yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, and okay again. And yeah, that's it. Now, whenever a cell in the total match with my criteria greater than or equal to the target, so the entire row is going to be automatically highlighted. And let's change this target right here to maybe 50 or 60,000. And if I hit enter, one, two, three, we can uh, notice automatically the entire data set is going to be updated for us. Now let's move on to a second example where we have something more complex to do and requires more dexterity because we're going to need to create a formula such as a average if within the conditional formatting. And remember, you don't need to only use the average if, you can use any other function formula that excel has okay so be free to try different uh, things different solutions basically what i want to do here is i have the date but it doesn't matter in my conditional formatting and uh, i have also the type the type is very important because it's going to tell me uh, what is the criteria that i should use okay so either or a or b and then i have the column c with the value so let's say I want to create this calculation first uh, in the cells here to the right 
just to understand what I need to do. And then we can move on to the conditional formatting just to make things clearly. So I have A as a the first type, and also I have B, two different criteria. For the A, I want to take the average of all the values that corresponding to A, because whenever I input a new row with a value that is greater than the average of only the type A, I want to highlight this value because I want to know every time a value is greater than the average for the type A. And then I also want to create something similar, but for the type B. Okay, so let's go here and create uh, a use an equal sign. And the function that can help us is the average if I want to, to select the range that I want to use is going to be the range where I have the types and then comma. The criteria is going to be the letter A here to the side. Or we can open parentheses, open quotations, sorry, A, close quotations, comma, and the average range is going to be the values. And if I hit enter, I'm going to have here uh, the, the result only for the average of the A. And if I want to do the same thing for the B, equal sign average if the range is going to be the type, comma, the criteria is going to be B, comma, and uh, the average range is going to be the values, and then enter. We can notice that the results are different from, from one to another. And uh, yeah, it's correct. So the average of the A is lower, is, is smaller, is smaller than the average of the B. Okay, now that we already understand what we need to do, let's apply the same formula within the condition of formatting. And so let's select the entire all the rows that I have. And you can also select a couple more rows just to make sure you can input new data. And then let's go to uh, home tab, condition of formatting, new rule. And uh, the last option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here, I want to, again, do the same calculation as before. Equal sign, average, if, open parentheses. The first uh, argument is going to be the column B. So let's select the range, this one right here, and comma. Now, I want to check the value, the type A only. So open quotations, A, close quotations, comma, and now, the last thing that I need to do is select here the values. Basically, again, it's the same calculation as before, okay? It's the same thing as before. Close parentheses. And remember, if I hit enter, this calculation right here is going to retrieve exactly the same value as we have here above, 7, 6, and 47. But what does this value mean? Nothing. We need to check something else, right? So I need to check if the average, the result, is going to be less than less than the cells, the values that I want to include in the, in the data set. So let's keep up with the, the, the first value cell. And be mindful to get rid of the dollar sign before the row to make sure each cell can copy all this calculation to all the rows. And then format, I want to use an orange color, OK, and OK again. Uh, as we can notice, whenever we have a value that is greater than the average of the A type, such as this one, this one, this one, and so forth, those values are going to be automatically highlighted. However, here we have a problem because we did not specify to the conditional formatting that we only want to apply the conditional formatting to the type A. Uh, of course, we are taking the average of only the letter A, the type A. However, the conditional formatting is being applied to all the values. Doesn't matter if it's the type A or B. So if you also want to include this new criteria to only highlight the cells that are equal to the type A, you can apply a new formula or you can append a formula that's going to help us. So let's go here to condition. Don't need to select again in anything. Conditional formatting, manage rules. And here you can see all the rules that you have. Uh, currently selection, of course, it's not going to show anything because there is no conditional formatting right here in the selection, but I can change to this worksheet. And as we can notice, this is the conditional formatting that I did. You can double click or you can go to edit rule. So let's say the average is working, but the conditional formatting is uh, also highlighting the type B. So how can I also include this new criteria to only highlight the cells that are equal to type A? I need to check this information. I need to check the range that is equal to A. So to do it, to use multiple criteria within the conditional formatting, we can use a formula called it AND. Okay, there is a formula in Excel called it AND. And the AND function can help us include many different criterias. 
and all those criteria needs to be true so the function works uh, so let's go here Im immediately after the equal sign and open parentheses okay the average is going to be our first argument and our our first criteria our second criteria or our second rule is going to be trauma and whenever this first cell right here and all the other cells uh, so let's select the first one are equal to the a but be mindful to get rid of the second dollar sign to make sure excel can copy this formula down that uh, this verification so whenever this is equal to open quotations a close quotations uh close parentheses it's because I need to highlight those rows. And uh, now we can see that I have two different conditions. The first one is going to be the average, and the second one is going to verify whether or not we have the letter A or the type A. Let's say in the first row, the first condition is true because the value is larger than the average, but the second condition is false because the first row has a B type. So because we have true and false, we're not going to highlight the row. However, if we have true and true, the row is going to be highlighted. So let's go to OK. And as we can notice, now it's working. Whenever we have here a type A exclusively, and the value of the type A is larger than the average, it's going to be automatically highlighted for us. And another thing that we can see is, even though the value is much larger than the average, if the type is equal to B, is not going to be highlighted. So this is how we can use conditional formatting in Excel with practical examples with different situations. And this is how we can use formulas, functions within the conditional formatting. And remember, you can use many other functions in Excel. And if you want to see more videos about this subject or anything else, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.